again everyone, it's another really wet day out there, but it's okay because uh, we've got this painting of Frida the camper van to get on with. Well now the first thing to get in I reckon is the sky and the sky here is just pretty featureless really isn't it? It's just a dull grey bluey sort of overcast quite snow laden sky but it has got some it has got some texture to it some sort of blues and bits and pieces so let's try and get that in first as a bit of a starting point. Well, rain really has set in today. It was a glorious day yesterday, but uh, today I definitely don't mind being inside painting, eh? Now I'm also going to trim off this bottom edge where the uh, photo ends so that I can get it nicely in position on the easel without leaving that bit. But I'm going to do that with the guillotine just to get a nice edge so because my guillotine or the guillotine we've got here it's actually Nicky's I think is not capable of taking A3 I just fold this neatly in half make sure it is in fact properly lined up Of course, is to stick it onto the steel with the magnets. Now, because my steel isn't quite A3 sized for some reason, I'm going to line it up with this edge. You see where the edge of the van disappears very slightly out of shot. Let's make that the absolute edge of the picture. Right, let's get that on. hill that's visible just at the back there so I need to drop this bit back in that I trimmed off. Okay well I've got me the uh, reference there to refer to so I think we'll just put some we need to get this sort of really grey blue colour going on so I want to try and mix something up in the airbrush and uh, see if we can get that looking rightish. Well that's okay, that's not looking too bad I don't think. You can see on the reference, maybe you can't see on the camera, but you can see on the reference there's a very slight pinkish tinge in this corner and over here a little bit. So I'm going to put a very tiny little bit of red in with there just to see if we can get that in. So there we go, that's the basic sort of texture and colour of the sky. It's not coming off pretty um, well on the camera here but uh, it does look a little bit more blue and pinky in real life. Anyway, I think the next thing to do is to cut out the van shape so we can then begin to add in some of the darker textures. So we'll start perhaps with the road surface. So you can perhaps now just about see that sky now that I've removed the shield for the rest of the painting. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut that van out. Now you can see it's a bit clumsy around this front wheel because uh, you can't actually really see where the edges of it is because everything's black and in shadow but 
all that really means is that uh, it, it doesn't really matter because we can uh, make that very black and shadowy anyway. So we'll lose that sharp edge that the um, shield will make later on. Anyway, let's get that stuck back onto the steel. Actually, before we get on with that, the doorbell's just rung and, and Tracy has dropped off some chocolate and beetroot cake. So I'm going to have a bit of that with a nice cup of tea before we crack on. some of this uh, graphite paper just to mark very faintly the snow line on. Now I could just guess that and do a sort of a wobbly line but I want to try and get that reasonably faithful to the reference so uh, let's do that now. You can see just marking that through with that cocktail stick has given me just a nice faint line to work to. And don't forget, there's a selection of my paintings available on my Etsy shop. Just search in Etsy for TTXELA Airbrush. I'll put a link in the description below. And also, if you'd like anything in particular painted, feel free to contact me on the email address below too. So now I think it's just a matter of trying to get some of this road texture marked in. Now it is quite complicated really, and it has a lot of different colours and bits and pieces to it, but uh, I think the only real way of doing it is to get stuck in. It's not entirely black, of course, it's like a very dark brown. So I guess we'll start off trying to mix up a very dark brown and uh, put that on first. And then we can go in where there's black bits and pieces and there's quite a lot of heavy black shadow around here. And there's some white highlights as well, so we'll need to bring those in. It's almost as if, I think light is coming here from, from behind, isn't it? From behind and more or less above. And I guess the sun's up here somewhere. Difficult to tell, maybe it's more over there-ish. Who knows? Anyway, let's give that some sort of a shot, eh? Well, I reckon now to uh, stick with the idea of doing the darker bits first, I reckon this fence post needs to go in and then we can use that as a reference to center everything else from. Now I am going to use uh, this as a bit of a stencil. I'm going to cut that fence post out because it has got really sharp edges. So uh, hopefully we can then use that to set everything else out too. Let's give that a shot anyway. Well, 
Well, just as a precaution, I've put some newspaper over that sky part just to protect it from any stray overspray. And now I'm going to put this fence post in and I can use this sort of dark brownie colour that I've already got mixed up. And uh, yeah, it's pretty featureless. It is just a, a plain post. So I'll do that now. Now the barbed wire that goes along there is a, a really a super fine line, isn't it? That goes across there. Now I could attempt to freehand that in, but I don't think I've got quite the control necessary for that. So I think I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use masking tape just to mask that really fine wiry bit. See how I get on with that. Now I have to try to come up with something for these barbs. Now again, I think I'd probably cock that up if I tried to do it freehand. So I need to come up with something similar really, like a, a, a shield or a stencil. And I think what I might do is just make one in the acetate to try and do that. So I'll go and get a bit of acetate. This will uh, be like, but I'm just going to try it on here. I think that'll be okay. Right, let's uh, do a foo. do them all exactly the same angle so it looks a bit more a bit less uniform also got to try and bring them a little bit closer together as I go to uh, allow for the sort of perspective clean some of this paint off with some uh, cleaner so I can see a bit better. Oh, well that was proper fiddly, but uh, I think it looks okay. Right, well now while we've still got that uh, black almost, um, well it's a, it's a dark brown really, isn't it? But it's, it's almost black in the brush. I'm just gonna bring in some of these darker areas, just a bit sort of blurry before we add in the, the sort of grassiness. So, and these are some of these little bits and pieces that are cutting in to the snow, see if we can uh, bring them in. They're going to be quite tricky really, but uh, let's give it a shot.
Well, we might have spotted, I put the um, fence face that I cut out back in to act as a shield, because I don't want that to appear to be um, in front, no, behind the grass that I do. So I've got the lighter brown mix in the airbrush, and I'm just going to go and see if I can put in some grassy stem bits to uh, make that look a bit better. Right, let's give that a try. like subscribe if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new